There's been an outpouring of support after a well-known downtown pub announced it is closing its doors at the end of the month. Crim 2's Christian Garza is live now to give us a look at what's going on. Christian? Yeah, businesses and parking in the area have been very, very, uh, uh, they, parking in general in downtown in these downtown businesses have been very, very bad. As you can see behind me, the Prohibition Gastro Pub, there's only about four that are right there, and that's all they're ever going to get. But as we know, this area and Spokane in general is no stranger to construction. We have 137 seats in the restaurant between the patio and the inside and we have five parking spots out front. That's the reason why Prohibition Gastro Pub is closing its doors at the end of August. After taking over the restaurant three years ago, owner Michael Wiley says he and the business hit the ground running with trying to serve the people of this community, whether that was through charity donations or helping those with food insecurity. When everyone asked me why I was crazy, dumb enough, brave enough, risky enough, whatever you want to take it, whatever you wanted to call it, because there's a lot of different questions. Why would you buy a restaurant in the middle of the pandemic? and uh, it's because of the community, it's because of the people. When he first took over, Wiley says he had a great relationship with the owner of Silver Auction, who let them use their parking lot across the street. But eventually, Silver Auction sold that property, and that is when the construction on these apartments started. So immediately enclosed the entire block with, you know, fences. Um, so we lost the parking spots that were in the parking lot. We lost a tremendous amount of street parking. And then of course the guys doing construction need a place to park. So what little parking was left, we lose those too. And while this chapter in his life is closing, it doesn't mean that he's going to stop helping the community. There's been a lot of love that goes into this place and um, we're just grateful for the chance to be a service. Wiley tells me as much as it was an emotional feeling to close this chapter in his life, it was practical for the challenges that the restaurant was facing. Christian Garza, Creme 2 News.